Hey everyone, this is Cam from Pulse Cardiac Health and I um, just wanted to do a video about a rather hot topic right now and that is about when to go to the emergency department during this COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, I have spent work, a number of years working as a nurse in emergency departments in this country, a couple of different ones. Um, and there is always a very small percentage of people that probably could have got more, more appropriate care in another setting rather than emergency. But this COVID-19 pandemic has absolutely swung the pendulum completely in the other direction. And um, we are now unfortunately seeing people that should be coming into emergency, not coming into emergency. And it, it could, for a variety of reasons, but probably one of the main one is that people are scared of picking up the coronavirus. And rightfully so. But um, I need to spend a little bit of time talking about when to go to emergency departments. Emergencies happen um, all of the time, whether there's a pandemic on or not emergencies will continue to happen. And when you have an emergency, you need to get taken care of in an emergency department. Um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of specific things later, but I do want you to know that hospitals and emergency departments all around the world, definitely in Canada, have, made, have done tremendous amounts of work to make emergency rooms safe. Uh, they have separate areas for people with COVID. They have tons of screening when you come in to put you in the appropriate areas. Um, there's extra cleaning, extra staff, all kinds of things have happened and it's a very safe place to go when you have an emergency to take care of. So if you have an emergency, go to emergency. Don't hesitate, okay? Um, in the last 10 years, uh, I've worked in cardiology in the cath lab and um, I have seen something very disturbing over the past month. I have never seen so few people needing angiograms um, as I had at the end of uh, March and the beginning of April. Uh, it, it was very, very strange and, and that phenomenon is not just in our hospital, it's all across Canada and in other places around the world. And the past week we've actually had a number of people, a little bit more um, business, more people to do angiograms on and take care of, but unfortunately some of these people didn't come into hospital in a very timely manner and unfortunately are probably gonna have worse outcomes than they would have had they come in when they had their problems initially. So I'm gonna talk about two things that are really, really uh, important to know when to come in. I'm gonna talk about heart attacks and I'm gonna talk about strokes. Now, when you have a heart attack or a stroke, there isn't a sign that flashes up and says you're having a heart attack or you're having a stroke, you go to emergency, you, you have symptoms. So I'm gonna go over what the symptoms are that you need to be aware of so that you know when to go to the hospital because you could be having a heart attack or a stroke, and if you don't go in, you could have more problems later and a, poor, a much poorer recovery if you don't go to an, to an emergency department. So heart attacks can have a number of symptoms. Everybody's a little bit different, uh, males versus females. I'm gonna kind of go over the whole range of symptoms that you could have. Classically, people tend to have pain in their chest. It's often heaviness, tightness, squeezing, aching, pressure. Um, people describe it differently. You don't always though, always have pain in your chest, but often you do. It can radiate, it can go down your arms, it can go up your neck and into your jaw and into your teeth. Uh, some people experience pain in the middle of their back, some people experience pain in their belly and abdominal pain, more common for females. Um, lots of people describe um, heartburn, um, so sort of a burning in, in this area just kind of underneath your rib cage, um, but it may not be heartburn, it may be you're having a heart attack. Often associated with um, this discomfort, however you experience it, um, you could be short of breath, um, you could feel quite nauseated or vomit, you could get very, very sweaty. Um, sometimes people get a, um, palpitations or a racing heart, you might feel quite dizzy, um, you might pass out. Um, sometimes people just feel really, really exhausted and tired. Sometimes people can't sleep. So there's a whole variety of symptoms, okay? But you need to recognize that if you're having these, you need to go to the emergency department. And the best way to do that is to call 911 because if you are driving and things get worse for you, you could turn into a weapon and hurt other people. And if somebody drives you, they may not be able to take care of you if you get worse because they're driving. So the best thing to do is call 911 and head to emergency. I'm going to talk about strokes as well, and, and probably lots of you have heard of strokes. They happen in your brain, um, and uh, strokes have their own set of symptoms. Um, and you may have heard of something called FAST, 
FAST is an acronym. So the F in FAST stands for a facial droop. So often um, if you have a stroke, you can have part of your face kind of drooping down one side. Um, so if you have that, that could be a stroke. Um, the A stands for arms. If you put both your arms up in front of you and you can't hold one of them, one of them drops, uh, that's a sign that you could be having a stroke. The S sound stands for speech. So if you are unable to speak or you're um, slurring your speech, sometimes you just can't say the words you want to say. Um, another possible sign. And the T part stands for time. It means get to the hospital as fast as you can. And again, you should call 911. I do want to mention a couple of other symptoms that aren't in that acronym. One, if you get a really bad headache, really fast onset of a headache, that could be a stroke. If you have visual changes, um, like you're losing vision in one or both eyes, or uh, other visual changes that happen all of a sudden, that could be the sign of a stroke. Um, and just sometimes being um, really wobbly or losing your balance or not coordinated it could be another sign. So if you're having any of those signs of a stroke, or the ones I talked about previously with a heart attack, call 911, get to your emergency department, whether there's a pandemic on or not, you need to be taken care of, uh, and emergency is the place that they will take care of you best, so you have your best possible outcome. I hope you take this to heart, and um, take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye.